yeah so you see the Taylor versions here she released fearless Taylor version and red Taylor version um yeah so by the way she's gonna re-record six albums so she did two already the reason why this Midnight's album is selling and is such a big deal because it's while she's she's probably going to drop at least in the next like eight months. She'll probably drop another re-released album or re-recorded album, I mean. But this Midnight's album was brand new. So she's still giving new albums, but she's also releasing the old shit again, which if rappers could do that, if rappers could do that, right? The music industry would be, it just, it wouldn't even be a thing. If a rapper could do what Taylor Swift is doing, think about if, 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 well, I don't know why Kanye didn't do that, but Kanye said he offered, I forgot what the the number was, he offered a lot of money to Def Jam to buy his masters back. Def Jam told him, golf nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, was you, <laughs> Nigga, you trying to get the masters to Jesus Walks? Get out of here, nigga. And remember, he's a billionaire, but they won't sell it to him. Remember I told you that young uh, they didn't want to give Youngboy back his masters or even Youngboy was going to sign with Atlantic if they were down to do a deal where he got back some of his masters retroactively. They were like, no, we'll give you more money. We're not giving you no, um, not giving none of those masters. I, I, I hear the deal Drake got, Drake has gotten, Drake owns, I believe, I heard it was 50-50 now, like he owns half of his masters, and yes, a masters is like a pie, so it, it's not just you own it or I own it, there's percentages on it too, you know what I mean? Um, usually when you sign your first deal, you will own none of your masters, the label will own your masters, when you do um, when you do renegotiate, you renegotiate usually for, and it's not retroactive, it goes forward. You renegotiate and you'd be like, yo, for every release from now, I of the masters, right? However, the label always control the, the rights of the masters, which means they make all the decisions. So you might own a percentage, but they make all the decisions. So they could do what they want. You just own a piece of it. From what I hear, Drake owns about 50-50. That's why you see the portion he owns, that's under the OVO brand. Anything he releases now, you'll see OVO slash Republic. You won't see cash money. You won't see young money. You'll only see OVO slash Republic because he owns half and the rest of the half goes to um, Republic. Uh, somebody said my yo chat I apologize for my stream today I really don't know what's going on with my internet man why are people in my chat just talking about YB somebody says the weekend I don't know too much about the weekend deals, <clears throat> to be honest with you. The weekend signed through XO. I know. I have to imagine, like artists like the weekend, unless he's in like some long ass deal. The weekend should own the majority of his masters. You know what I mean? At least for the new shit. But it depends on how many times you, you like renegotiate. Yo, the music business is an interesting place. When you come in, you sign essentially the worst type of deal possible. Right? And over time, you're supposed to renegotiate to get the best deal. Obviously, the best deal would be pretty much a just a distribution deal. Like what Bad Bunny got. <clears throat> 